I think about shallow talent pools and I think of the recruitment industry, there's no question when I speak to our clients, they often talk about how hard it is to recruit recruiters. <laughs> what do you think the industry should do to create pathways to generate a greater recruiter talent pool? Mm. That's a really good We are question. very challenged with this at the moment. Um, we, main, are. we are because of the visa changes have squeezed mm. that even further. Mm -hmm. And the way that the visa process works now, you have to pay you know, someone at a senior consultant level to even get them on a visa, a 457. Yep. So it means that that junior end of the market, um, yes, you know, there are Australians in the workforce, but it's candidates short. And often we've pulled from bigger markets, um, but we don't have access to juniors anymore because there's no value proposition to hire someone on a visa, you know, at a senior consultant salary. Right. Um, it makes it difficult for business. So we're like, well, how can we grow grow talent in our market, but also grow it from those more junior levels. Yep. The trick for us is we're boutique in size and the majority of our roles will start around the um, 120 to 150 mark. Mm -hmm. So we can't necessarily have juniors going straight onto our desks. Right. So we've started to think about how we can create some sort of academy or program where we're training people up or get the rotations happening. And we are working with one of the unis on a grad rotation program around that. Right. But I feel like if there was some sort of external structure around that, that you could tap into, that would be. Which is the irony, there actually isn't an academic no. um, course that any of the tertiary institutions mm. actually provide the recruitment industry. Right. Right. So we, we, if you ask anyone, will naturally get into it by accident. It's not yes. like a chosen profession that you get up, you know, when you're you know, 15, 16, 17 year olds and I <laughs> want to be a recruiter. Right. But I, I think if you ask any recruitment company um, in Australia at the moment and ask what their major challenge is, it will be finding, <laughs> finding really good recruiters. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've, Davidson have a, a kind of a, we're a medium sized organisation. We have that critical mass where we're starting to invest in um, bringing graduates in mm -hmm. to certain areas of our business. Mm -hmm. um, as Econ Boards, we, we can't necessarily do that. Mm -hmm. um, so of course you're always hiring very experienced hires, but of course, if they're really good at what they do, they're not naturally going to leave. In so it, it is a real challenge for us. But if we could somehow professionalise um, an accreditation process, um, I, I think that would really help um, build a pipeline of into it. Yeah, you don't want to rely on people falling into the profession. And, and like you said, you know, 90% of people in recruitment have fallen into it, and it's actually a really rewarding and exciting career. You, you are dealing with really interesting people you get to work with a range of organizations it's such a great learning opportunity so if there was some way to, to really start to educate um, the market on what a great career choice it actually is um, you know it's, it's unfortunately you know, in some segments it's got a bit of a bad reputation and i think yeah you know, i just think the challenge is that we've really looked into this and it's a certain type of person and behavior you know that works well in the business it's highly you know it's up and down it's stressful you have to be really resilient you need to be a salesperson but, but be advisory um, advising your clients at the same time plus you have to have subject matter knowledge it's a lot to ask out of one person so it's like also how do we kind of take on this future of work piece around realizing our industry is changing and we're becoming more of these talent planners that you were talking about and advisors and that kind of raises the bar again so yeah. I feel like we do really need help it's yeah I think as a I think as a sector I think we're maturing yeah. and I think it's only now that probably in the last few years and we'll continue to have that a really different vocabulary around um, what is it we really do. Um, you know, we, we're in a really magical position where we are really kind of facilitating um, uh, potential. And you know, the, the executives we place are making a difference every day in this in this world, and we're really helping on that journey. And I think if we can really articulate that better, particularly at a graduate level, we can start to build that talent pool. I think it will take yep. time, but I think yep. we'll get there. I think you're right, Will. Mm -hmm.